What is going on guys today? Um, we're trying something different. We've got the camera on. We're trying to do Just trying to get this set up right. I've managed to get my mic which is now up here I don't know. I don't know. I've not checked the camera yet So I'm not too sure what actually is in focus if we're in focus So obviously when I edit it it will be but today I wanted to do something different. I wanted to think what is say five icons that will happen in players who are current so the first one i've gone for is obviously sergio aguero he is probably one of the best strikers for a long time to be honest he is a fantastic striker obviously he has been um not blessed with the injury proneness every single season and yet he still manages to make 20 30 goals what have you he, he's scoring so many and being injured for so many times compared to some players who go on and they will not get injured one bit and they still don't score as much as him the next player we've got going on is the the kid mbappe obviously very very young at this moment in time but with the kind of hopes that he is going to be something special i think that mbappe has got a chance to be one of the best players going forward to take the generation off Messi and Ronaldo eventually. Obviously, he's still a kid at the minute, or uh, kind of young adult, really. Um, but he is on fantastic form, already winning a World Cup, and already dominating in the French League. I'd like to see him step away um, from the French League in the future, which we may see. Who knows? But the kid's definitely got a future in, in icon status, to be honest, if he carries on the way he does. Next up, we have his obviously partner in crime, Neymar, whose future is still in debate as of recording this video. Will he go back to Barca? It's all up in the air. We don't know. Personally, I'm not too sure with Neymar. I think one good thing about Neymar is he sells himself incredibly. If you took his ability, he is a fantastic player, don't get me wrong. Not quite the level of Ronaldinho in his counterpart for Brazil, uh, for Brazil football, but... He's got phenomenal feet. He knows how to score a goal. He makes it look good. Yes, there is kind of dirty sides to his game. The diving, the acting, the all of that. But that is kind of football nowadays. Unfortunately, we have to go with it. We're trying to stamp it out as much as possible. But that is what sells football nowadays. You find it all over the shop. And unfortunately, he does it better than anyone else. Obviously, it does have a reputation with him, but you can't take it away from him. He is a wonderful, wonderful player. And I think definitely, again, very young player that can go forward and really make legendary icon status of himself. So, again, another one that I'm kind of probably saying he definitely will be an icon. Obviously, Mbappe is a little bit off yet. Then we have the man himself, uh, Messi. It's, it's got to be really, hasn't he? There's two players that are currently in football that 100% will have icon status if they sign with VA, that is. Obviously, it all, all matters about contract and all of that. They may have him as icon status, but if he doesn't want to sign the contract for EA, then unfortunately, he won't be. But you don't get much better than him, really, do you? There's two people, obviously, in this title race for the best player in the world, the best player at football overall there's so many different arguments but it all depends on what you like better for me i think both of them have had wonderful careers they've scored so many goals won so many trophies arguments obviously major trophies for messi isn't quite there and ronaldo obviously i'd say carrying but it they still play i know obviously the the level that ronaldo plays is much superior compared to his teammates in portugal but they're still on that pitch they still have that contribute uh, contribution or fa that, that factor to the game um, it's not all in a one-man team regardless if if he does a lot of it it's still that back of that other 10 men but Messi in general is going to be incredible I think for me Messi and Ronaldo both deserve 99 rated icons Pele has 98 I think is it 98 with a prime moment or did he even get a pro I don't think he even got no he did he did he got I can't even remember what he got. He either got 98 or 99, but I think for me, Messi and Ronaldo are 100% 99 rated icons. If prime moments are in there, definitely 99 prime moments. But for me, I think even if they just had prime, I think 100% they've got to be 99. The positioning for Messi is going to be the interesting one. I think you've got obviously the position of striker or right wing, I'd have said. Um, 
Personally, I would probably go with a right winger. That's a lot of the time where he spends um, a lot of his cards. But I think definitely you could argue striker. Then we have the man himself, Cristiano Ronaldo. Again, another 99 rated striker. Um, I think most definitely d deserves it 100% with, uh, with Messi as well. I think them two are just phenomenal. They've, they've cemented their career. They've scored so many goals. It's unbelievable. And in... An era where defending and all of the, the football is at its real peak. Obviously, back then when Pelly was playing, for instance, it was at its peak for that time. I think football's come a long way. And to be at that level still, and for, for how old, especially Ronaldo, I think Messi's a couple of years younger, I want to say. They're still banging in goals. They're doing it. They're still creating all of their moments and opportunities for themselves consistently every year. And you do not get that. That is like incredible to see so i think them them five especially have got the the status to become an icon after their finished fa playing football obviously we're still waiting for the david beckham who is on pez so whether he will be but we're constantly getting icon upgrades when do you think that's enough for icons when do you get rid of some icons because they're still there or do you just ship them off and take them out of fifa and replace them with new ones or do you grow the catalog of icons I don't know what they're going to do with that, and I'd kind of, I kind of wish that they do make more. But at the same time, it loses their value then, and then the the gold players become less interested because there's more icons that you're able to get. Um, I personally don't know how they're going to do that if they're going to just get rid of icons and replace them with new ones. I think that's definitely interesting to see, but I just wanted to try something different. I want to do some player ratings as well going forward, especially with EA hopefully announcing the top 100 players very, very shortly. As obviously, we're nearly in demo season, we're nearly in more news. It's only, I think, 23 days or 24 days till the 10 hours we can play, and then obviously an extra two, three days on top of that until we can actually play the game. So, I'm absolutely stoked. I cannot wait. I'm bored. I've got my setup, and hopefully it's going to be a really good year. So let me know down below what you think about this. Would you like to see more icon, current icon players, um, as well as obviously, um, I'm debating whether to do teams or pick say five to five to ten players out of a team, or even just do top ten players um, to do player ratings. Would you like to see that? Let me know down below if you've made it this far. And again, thank you again for your support. I know videos with the move has been absolutely just insane to try and do, but we're we're back on it. We're really trying to push for this, and we're trying to get back on schedule, ready for FIFA 20. I'm trying to get as well some design, some graphics, as I saw Marshall's. Um, player review thumbnails and by god they look fresh so i'm gonna have to step up my game for that um i think they're gonna be definitely ones to watch because they are really really clean so i'm gonna try and set up that and really get behind the graphic side of it as well that's something that i really want to push for fifa 20 and then as we go into fifa 20 we're just going to go ham on it so hopefully you enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe if you're new around here as well if you've made it this far and if you want to make a like on this video and comment any icons you'd like to see anything at all on the channel player ratings icons teams leagues let me know down below and i'll see you all for the next one peace